Hi guys and uh, welcome to my tutorial on sandwriting. It's my first one so bear with me. Right, first thing you need to do, get yourself a picture. I found this on the internet and this one's quite a big one. It's 2500 wide and 1600 pixels height. But you can choose anything. But bear in mind about your text itself and your font it needs to sort of fit the picture so first things we need to do uh, yeah choose a font just wait till this initializes and for the purposes of this I've gone for freestyle font it's a nice easy it's a nice one to use um, regular but I think that's standard 72 points and anti aliasing I've put crisp but again choose your own right when you're happy make sure your font is in black at the moment it's in white but I'll just change that and type away in the sand anything you like I'll put hello world when you're happy move it along left mouse click just off the front you see a little arrow and a square cut across move it and when you're happy with the placement and the little tick just above tick that or you can just hit enter right and there you go now we can't work with it yet because what we need is to rasterize it so right click on the layer up to rasterize type and click now we can work on the front right how are we going to do it well we want to go down to effects let's choose your effects so we're going to add a new layer style go up to bevel and emboss and just for the purposes of this picture choose well these are the styles i'm going to use but you could again use your own so for inner bevel i'm going to go for pillow emboss and the technique i'm going to use is chisel hard uh, the depth of the actual uh, chisel in um, let's see I'm going to set it to yeah about 130 looks good so keep the direction as up and the size of the actual chisel in um, I think about 25 to 30 ish something like that oh there you go that's way too deep so let's see now yeah 25 is good soften it so it doesn't look too false you can see by sliding it it just doesn't look right does it so i'm going to go for about a four now the angle of the shading it depends on where you want the sun to be or whatever but i think i'm going to go for about a what's it, 120 i think looks good yeah i'm happy with that okay right leave the global light as it is the altitude of the shading go for about 35 37. Uh, contour leave it alone um just make sure your anti atlas is unchecked you don't want to check that uh, screen leave that you don't need to bother with the screening and your shadow mode below it's on multiply leave it multiply but the color if you click on this little box uh, i've chosen a color with the numbers uh, five zero three c one zero and it gives you a nice dark brown color okay oh and drop your capacity down a little bit again play with this as you want but i'm just going to drop it down to about 50 ish okay and when you're happy with it which i am yeah when you're happy with it go up and click okay right oh yeah now you fill you need to drop that down right down to zero and watch the black lines on your lettering 
and they've disappeared. Now you're left with a nice text in the sand. But hang on, you've got all this stuff in the middle of the letter, you don't want that. So let's get rid of that, shall we? So how do we do that? Right, well we go down to the bottom of the uh, layer menu. Make sure that your text is highlighted. You add a new layer mask and a white box should appear on your text layer. Now you don't have to do anything with this. Just leave it as it is. And then if you go across to your brush tool now for this purposes again I've chosen a soft brush with a size of around I think I'll go for about a 30 and make sure you leave the hardness as zero you don't want it you don't want it too hard okay and when you've done Draw in the text, but keep in between the lines nice and carefully and take out that lumpy sand in the middle. And when you've done that, that's it. It's so simple to do. It's not the best, it's not the perfect, but it gives you a start. Have a play around, use different texts, use different um, styles uh, and see what you come up with. Oh, and if you want to have a go at freehand drawing in sand we'll show you that in just about 20 seconds well i've just finished this so bear with me all right that's that done okay so you fancy a bit of free hand drawing in the sand so that's quite straightforward as well similar thing if you go across now to your layers, choose a new layer and turn off the text, which is just that little eyeball. So now again, you're left with a blank beach. Go to effects, blend, uh, bevel and emboss. Using the same as before, there's pillow emboss, chisel hard, Depth is again around 100, well, 130 we said, yeah. Uh, direction is up, size is about 24, and we'll soften it to about 4. The angle, well, it's already set now for 120. Use global light. Um, your altitude is still the same at 37. Leave the uh, contour and screen. Don't bother with those now. Multiply again. Drop your well, no, we'll do a color here again. Yeah, you don't have to put the same colors in. Let's choose one, a similar thing, but you're looking for shadow here, so just go for it darker than your sand. That looks nice. Get down to the opacities, just drop it a little bit. When you're happy, click OK. Right, and basically, you go across. Get your brush tool. Oh, hang on. Oh no, hang on, yeah. Now when we're doing this, it's one pixel. Same brush, but one pixel. Okay. Oh, and now remember, drop your fill capacity down to zero. And there you go. Now just draw away. There's a nice little happy smiley face for you all. And there you go draw what you like use different brushes um, you can use the whatever brush you've got footprints however you want to use it anyway that was it my first tutorial hope you enjoyed it it's quite simple bit of fun and uh, hell give us a like if you liked it <laughs> see you again guys